Hello friends, welcome to Bemol. In today's video, we are going to develop a dynamo script to add prefix to the dimension. We all know that while we submitting the soft rank, we have to provide a lots of dimension, right? So in the dimension, we add some time prefixed as well. Like we in order to denote that this one is the radial dimension, we add prefix R over there. We can add it manually just clicking on this dimension and press R over there in the prefix type R. And okay, now it's been added. But sup suppose there are thousands of sheets and thousands of uh, dimension. It is not an efficient way to add it manually. So we have a dynamic script for that. Let me show you how we can add prefix to the dimension. We can also add symbol to the arc length. Like we can also add arc symbol to the arc length dimension, right? So let's start writing dynamic script. Let me go to the dynamo. Here we have the dynamo face. First of all, we have to collect all the dimension, right? So in order to collect all the dimension, you have to uh, use a node called category, category, and one more node is there that is all element of category. So here we have, now the category is well known to us that is dimension, type D, and here you have dimension. I connect with this one, it's better to use it in a manual mode so that it don't hang or crash. So now we have seven dimension over there, but we don't know which dimension are which type. There are seven dimension that is clear. Yes, there are seven dimension we have provided over here. You can look at this that there are seven dimensions. It become very important that we have to know the type, which type of dimension we have used in order to give the radial dimension and which type we have used to give the uh, arc length or linear or angular dimension. So type is very important. So now for the uh, angular dimension, we have used a type called arrow 2.5 aerial dimension type, right? Let me go back to the dynamo. Now here we have to know the dimension name. So we have uh, a node called element dot name. Connect with this, click on the run button. Now you know the name. So arrow is there, right? Now the next step is to filter out the dimension you want to add prefix. Now, this, these are the two dimensions which we need to filter out. So, in order to filter it out, we have a node called uh, content. Right? So, we have the content. String.content. Now, connect this string. Yeah, we are looking for a, a dimension tab which are named as, which are named as arrow. Right? So now connect with this one, click on the run button. Now you have, see, the, you have the boolean. You got the boolean. Now in order to filter this out, we have to use a node called filter by bull mask. Filter by bull mask. Now connect this booleans. And now we need to filter this element. Now connect with this one, click on the run button. Now it's been segregated. We have this two dimension. Now you want to add the prefix to this two dimension. We can do that just simply use a node called dimension set prefix this one okay now connect this one this is my dimension what would be the value this is asking for the string value now connect this string value that is r then a space now connect this now let me click on the run button it's and it's done now let me go to that see we have r and the space there after dimension value similarly we can add a symbol over there as well arc length symbol let me show it for you now suppose we are going to uh, segregate this arc length just simply click here here see arc okay arc now here we have that arc and we want to add an arc symbol over there so in order to have an arc symbol, just go to search bar, search button and type. Uh, just uh, in order to have that arc symbol, click Windows and R run button. Here you have and type char map. On clicking on that, you have this kind of windows on the search, but search option type arc and go for the search see here you have that arc symbol just select on that and copy this now copy paste it over here 
now you want to provide a arc symbol then a space okay now these are done now let me click on the run button now let me go and check see over there you have that arc symbol hope this video is helpful for you if it is useful for you please uh, give a thumbs to this video and subscribe our channel and share it to your friends thank you very much